So it's been a little bit over a year since I started recording my drawing process and uploading them on social media and in this time I think I learned a few things or two about the recording process. I would love to share some of these knowledge with you if you're ever thinking about starting your own art channel or you're just thinking of new ways to grow your audience and video is the way that you want to go with. So all of this began when I was having trouble constantly uploading on my Instagram at the time because my works would often take weeks if not months to complete and if I was posting multiple pictures of works in progress that would quickly get stale and repetitive because it was just basically the same image over and over again with a little bit added onto every single time. So that wasn't going to work out because I love experimenting with new styles and materials and ideas so it was really difficult for me to keep a consistent schedule or a very consistent uniform look to my Instagram profile. Just because I was experimenting so much and there were a lot of works that I didn't feel proud to share with the world and I wanted to keep for myself so I didn't have a constant stream of artworks coming out to the world. Some artists are extremely good at that, whether it's keeping their social media in a consistent style, whether it's a color scheme or a concept, but I'll be honest, that's what one of my strong suits. So one day I was just scrolling through YouTube and there was a video called Pencil Drawing Time Lapse Sage. And I recognized the thumbnail because I was looking through Reddit about a year or two ago before seeing that video and I recognized the artist and the drawing instantly because I had saved it in my photos. So that's when I discovered Journal Dry, who, while not being consistently posting every week or every other week, he was probably the biggest figurehead for hyperrealism at the time on YouTube especially. And even though I knew my drawings were very different from his, whether it's in terms of concept or techniques because I was doing watercolor mixed with pencil drawings at the time, I would watch all his videos nonstop because I knew there was something deep inside me that kept me watching, something human that kept my focus when it was very hard to do so, especially in this day and age where everything around you is trying to grab your attention. So I started studying all his videos and going through every single one of them to try to take notes of the camera angles that he was using, the drawing techniques that he was doing for his artworks, or just the way that he was speaking to the camera. Because I wanted to convert that all to my own style with what I had and applied that to my own artworks and that's how it all got started. So first and foremost, let's start with the equipment. Before I even began learning about the recording techniques or the type of video format, naturally like everyone else who starts anything new, I reached out to a bunch of content creators that I really liked and I started asking them what type of camera equipment they were using or what kind of audio equipment they were using because I wanted to replicate every single one of them and kind of copy their own mood and style because I love them so much and they inspire me. But here's the secret, especially when you're starting out, you do not need any fancy equipment and everything that you need is in your pocket. Especially iPhone, now I'm not advertising for them but I really do think that they are great and I've used them for basically all my life. I'm not sponsored by them. Apple, if you're hearing this, please sponsor me. Phone cameras nowadays are a lot better than the professional cameras that you can find, especially if you're new to filming. You don't have to worry about adjusting the ISO, the shutter speed, the aperture, because the iPhone basically takes care of everything for you and it gives you a really good look without having to worry about all the professional nitpicky stuff. And my first videos were all recorded with an iPhone and a stand to make it stable. I feel like there will come a point where you feel like your camera quality is limiting you or you feel like you need to get better lighting which is crucial to any film. But when people normally ask me what type of equipment I use, I just tell them to just use their phones to start. Number two, how much planning that goes into the process might surprise you. When we watch the process videos of other artists, we often make the mistake of thinking, oh that's so easy, I can probably do that too. You know, you just point a camera at it and shoot whenever you're recording, but there's actually a lot that goes on other than just that. One of the problems that I ran into early on was the camera angles. It would constantly get in the way of my sight of hands when I'm drawing and it would make the entire drawing process purely focused around the camera itself and not me drawing. And that especially takes me out of the mood and as artists we know that is very important. I'll talk a little bit about that later on. Making every second of the video engaging and interesting is also extremely difficult. The amount of footage that you have to shoot and pick out is no small task. I think there have been multiple times where I spent about an hour setting up, getting ready, recording and adjusting just to 
get one second of footage. If I'm recording a longer form of video content like YouTube or trying out a new style of vertical video, I would often plan out every single shot and I would write out what I'm going to say to help the recording day go as smoothly as possible. The third thing that I've learned that is very important is consistency. Now granted, it's an ongoing lesson for me still and uh, it's something that I'm having a hard time with as well, but I can't stress enough about how crucial it is. There have been many, many weeks where I just want to purely focus on the drawing itself and not having to worry about anything else in the world. But when you watch videos teaching you how to grow on social media, there are many variances in what they think is important, like having a niche is extremely important or being in the right place at the right time, but there's always one thing that they have in common, which is consistency. and there's a reason for that. The fourth and most meaningful one for me is mentality and discipline. A lot of times as an artist, it's really important for me to have some alone time where I leave everything else in the world and kind of lock myself into a room with just my artworks so I can fully focus on the whole process and get into that flow state that we all crave. I remember when I was finishing up my large graphic portraits back in art college, I would often text my friends and tell them not to invite me to any events or food for about two weeks just because I wanted pure focus on my drawing. So not having that social obligation was really crucial to me. But when you're recording, that changes the entire scope of the project because you have to be constantly thinking about which parts of the drawing is interesting and you have to record that and show the world. So you always have the documentation part in the back of your mind and that kind of takes you away from the focus and it keeps you constantly aware of other aspects that are not just the drawing process. So in a sense, the filming almost ruined the drawing process for me because it took me out of the flow state which was what made me become an artist in the beginning. But on the other hand, I've really fallen in love with the whole recording process as well. Just trying to get the angles right, the lighting correct, and the editing process is extremely fun as well. It's definitely given me a new perspective on the whole drawing process, seeing it not only as the result and a final image, but rather the documentation of this journey that I've been on and every step of the way and I get to show that to the world, which is just quite amazing. Now, this is by no means saying that I've got it all figured out. As I said before, I'm still a work in progress as well, and I'm still learning every single day. There's so much that I have to study and look at other content creators to learn from. But with the rise of TikTok and Instagram trying to compete that with Reels, I think vertical videos is getting more traction than ever and right now is a perfect time to utilize that to grow an audience. So I hope you learned something new today from my experiences and can use that to start your own channel whether it's art or just something that you're passionate about. Thank you so much for your support and I'll see you next time. Bye.